Hey everyone! So today we're going to be reading the book Moon by Allison Oliver. And I love how in the title Moon, she has a beautiful little crescent moon right there. What a creative illustration. So let's go ahead and get into Moon. And again, this is by Allison Oliver. And since there's no illustrator listed, we can just assume that Allison Oliver is the author and the illustrator. So Moon. Every day, Moon walked home from school and thought about the day. So there we can see little Moon walking home from school with all her books in her backpack. There was always a lot to do. And she's written a little note to herself. It says, stuff to do. Homework, clean my room, soccer practice, trumpet lesson, math tutor, stuff, and more stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Sometimes that's how my schedule feels. It just seems like I have so much to do. Moon always did it all, but she wondered what it would be like to not to. What would you, it feel like to be free? To run, to yell, to be wild? Can you learn to be wild? Moon couldn't find the answer anywhere. So she's trying to research how to be wild and she's looking in books. They say facts, plants, world history, math, She's got all these books and papers. She's trying to figure it out. That night, Moon saw a shooting star zip by. She went outside to watch for more. What she found was different. Paw prints. Strange. Exciting. Wild. Let's make a prediction. What do we think those paw prints are? Who do we think they belong to? Make a quick prediction in your head really quick. What do you think is going to happen with those paw prints? There in the garden, a beautiful furry creature stared back at her. A wolf. Oh my goodness. Wolf offered Moon a ride. In a flash, they were off to the edge of the great forest. The forest opened to a clearing. Wolf's pack gathered to welcome Moon. She asked them to show her the wolfy ways. Look how cute those little baby wolves are. And there's Moon and Wolf and then all of Wolf's pack. These are beautiful illustrations. I love this style of art that Alice and Oliver has decided to draw her book pictures with. How to pounce. Hello, special guest reader. Would you like to come and read with us? No? Okay. I was going to ask where the sunflower seeds are. They're by your oatmeal. Oh. <laughs> you do. <laughs> How to play. How to howl. She's got all these wild flowers in her hair. I wonder if that means that the wolves are teaching her to be a little bit more wild. How to be still. How to listen and feel. The breeze blew through Moon's hair. The chirping of the insects seemed to grow quiet. The oceans of stars felt not so far away. The forest exhaled, and so did Moon. It was wild. Let's exhale together. So breathe in and out. That always makes me feel so calm and relaxed. Moon was happy. Then she heard a howl, the familiar voice of her mother. Moon knew she had to go home. I love how she has the flowers in her hair now after visiting with all the wolves. But she wasn't the same Moon anymore. The next day, Moon walked to school. And look at the illustration right there. What does she have on her head? Hmm. And she took her wolfy ways with her. The end. This was such a wonderful book. I hope you all enjoyed it. What was your favorite part of Moon? Let me know if you see me in class today or tomorrow. And I hope you all enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone!